Here's something we rarely do anymore as carpenters and home builders, and that will be cutting gable studs. These are the wall studs that go between the top plate and the bottom of the roof rafter. But I do have a formula, something you can try and see if it works for you. I haven't had the best of luck with it, but uh, I'm going to share it with you anyway. Now, first thing you know you can do is I put some marks on the top plates there and uh, these marks realistically are just so that you can level up grab a level or a straight edge and mark the roof rafters and this is actually how I end up cutting most of my gable studs is I just go up depending on what I'm doing if I'm going to be putting siding on um, every once in a while I'll do this and of course it looks good too you know it looks good to have nice straight wall studs um, anyway but uh, every, you know I'll just grab a level mark it um, you know do three or four measurements at a time go down and cut them nail the studs in and go from there but the formula that I that I have and it's going to be at the end of the video and of course I'm going to explain it here is a simple an easy to understand formula and of course you can always apply it to other things also now let me just go over it here and then I'll like I said I'll finish at the end you can see here we have uh, the tallest gable stud is 27 and a half inches and then 19 and a half 11 and a half and then three and a half and these measurements are all eight inches difference there's an eight inch difference in between them and here you can see the eight inches the base of the gable studs at the bottom you can see are all going to be the same and the only difference is going to be that you are going to add eight inches to each one of them now this is for a 6 and 12 pitch roof if we take and divide the pitch the rise of the pitch for example if we have a 6 and 12 pitch then if we go to four feet which four feet divides into 16 inches so 12 inches and 16 inches both divide evenly into 48 inches so this is the number we're going to use as our focal point um, and again you might have to watch this video a couple of times and if you're having problems with it if I mess something up feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment area if you have any questions but it is it's a real simple formula so if we take the pitch number if you have a 4 and 12 pitch then you'll multiply 4 times 4 giving you 16 in our example we are using a 6 and 12 pitch for every 12 inches of horizontal measurement uh, every 12 inches we measure horizontally our roof rafters will go up four inches this is a four and twelve pitch roof so in our example here of a six and twelve pitch roof we will multiply six times four because remember four um, separate increments of six inches individual rise roof rise for the six and twelve pitch um, and, and again the number we're shooting for is 48 here um, 48 inches um, which would of course divide into it four times so that's why we're multiplying six times four bear with me if I'm if, again like I said I'm doing the best I can here so if we take six which is the individual rise per foot we multiply it by four which is on a um, vertical length if we go out horizontally four foot up if we went up vertically we would have 24 inches that's why we're multiplying six times four so we have 24 inches um, at the horizontal four foot measurement if we went up and that hopefully that makes sense to you guys and gals out there now the next thing we're going to want to do is divide it by the number three because three is the 16 inches on center measurement we're looking for that would be three increments and then of course that gives us eight and this all makes sense if we stop and take a look at this picture and again this pretty it should be self-explanatory I'm not going to give you another example if you're having problems with this and I need to make another video I can 
um, hopefully. And again, this is more of a video for a more, it's an advanced home building video. You know, you really need to have a basic understanding of how roofs are built for this to apply. But uh, realistically, it's a simple and easy formula and you can use it for different measurements. For example, if I want, if I have a six and 12 pitch roof and I multiply those two numbers together, giving me 24 inches, and instead of going 16 inches on center, I want my studs to be spaced 24 inches on center. Then I would simply divide the number 24 by two instead of three. There are two 24 inch horizontal measurements in 48 inches. So, and, and again, if you wanted to do it, um, let's just say to, for the 19, I forget what it is, 19 and a quarter, where that would be four equally spaced studs instead of three, then um, use the number four. So I hope that makes sense. And like I said, uh, you know, this is a video that uh, might, you might be able to use for a variety of different things, but for the most part, most of the time now, everything's engineered roof trusses and you rarely end up cutting gable studs or you know, the engineer and the architect are calling out for balloon framed walls uh, to eliminate the hinge point here where the uh, wall studs and the gable studs would meet at the top plate. So uh, don't forget to hit me with the old thumbs up button every once in a while. And if you have anyone that might be interested in these videos, tell them about the videos that I have on this YouTube channel.